The balance between minimum effort and maximum efficiency is a constant in the nature that surrounds us. Have you ever found yourself trying to achieve something in your life in a forced way? Maybe struggling for a promotion at work, trying to impress someone, or simply feeling desperate and distressed because things are not happening the way you would like them to. We've all been through similar situations. But what if there was a better way to act? A way to release that need to force things to happen and instead let life flow and move through it with minimum effort and maximum efficiency. The backwards law is based on the idea that the more you struggle for something, the more you push it, the further it seems to get away. This notion seems to contradict the advice that has been instilled in us throughout our lives, which holds that hard work and effort are the pillars of success and prosperity. However, this philosophy suggests that there is a limit to how much effort we should put into reaching a goal and that sometimes we need to take a step back and let things unfold naturally. It's all about finding a balance and recognizing when too much effort can be counterproductive. In the following minutes, we will explore a fascinating concept, the backwards law. We will discover how, by letting go of forcing things and adopting a more detached attitude, we can effortlessly attract what we desire towards us. We will explore how combining this philosophy with the law of assumption can open doors to new possibilities of manifestation. Additionally, we will see how letting go of conscious control can lead us to enter into a state of flow with life, allowing us to flow effortlessly and experience a sense of peace and fulfillment in the present moment. This philosophy is often misunderstood as simply not acting, being lazy or careless, but it is much more than that. It is the art of flowing with the natural rhythms of the universe, of moving with the currents of life rather than trying to force your way against them. The works of Alan Watts, an English writer, theologian and lecturer, have been instrumental in bridging the gap between Eastern and Western philosophical traditions and have been widely appreciated for their insightful and provocative nature. One of Watts's most notable observations is, in fact, the The Backwards Law. Although this knowledge comes directly from the Tao Te Ching, or Zen Buddhism, what is attributed to Alan Watts is simplifying it for Western audiences, showing that the more you try to catch something, the more it slips through your fingers. But when we stop trying insistently and stop forcing things or situations, often these things or situations flow to us effortlessly. This philosophy reminds us that we should think beyond superficial goals and consider what we really want in life and why we want it. This does not involve reducing our focus or adopting a completely passive attitude, but rather encourages us to direct our energy towards what we truly desire and need. It invites us to thoroughly examine our goals and desires to understand what drives us to seek them. This concept can help us explore our aspirations and motivations more deeply, highlighting the importance of directing our attention inward and critically analyzing our deepest desires to better understand our real needs. By questioning why we want something, what we hope to gain from it, and whether it aligns with our fundamental values and beliefs, we can identify any discrepancies between our superficial desires and our deeper needs. This, in turn, allows us to make more informed decisions and lead a more fulfilling life. The pursuit of happiness through the attainment of objects or the achievement of constant goals can be counterproductive. The common belief that happiness can only be reached by achieving specific goals is a mistake. In fact, this perpetual pursuit can lead to high levels of dissatisfaction compared to a more detached and accepting attitude. The key is to let go and experience happiness without any particular reason, here, in the present moment. Wanting to constantly exert control over our environment and our future can lead us to a state of anxiety and frustration. However, when we relinquish control and cultivate self-acceptance, 
we are closer to a state of mental peace and bliss. For example, when we shift our focus from feeling lacking in external love to cultivating self-love, we create a conducive environment for love to flow towards us. When we feel good about ourselves, whole and in harmony, not dependent on external love, paradoxically, the ideal partner who best aligns with our needs and desires appears. The universe operates according to the principle of least action possible, which means that everything in existence moves with the least amount of energy and time required. The trajectory of a river, the expansion of tree roots, or the movement of your own body all operate under this principle. And when you learn to work with this principle instead of against it, you can achieve amazing things with less effort and more peace. In your own life, you may have noticed that when you try to force things, you often end up creating chaos and stress. But when you allow yourself to let go and allow things to unfold naturally, you can achieve your goals with ease and less effort. This doesn't mean you should sit back and wait for things to happen without doing anything. It means you should take action when the time is right and let go and adapt to the situation when necessary. We can effectively use the backwards law along with the law of assumption. Instead of forcing something too much and feeling the lack of what we desire or want, we focus on the emotion and feeling of fulfillment in the present moment. This is good for two reasons. It keeps us in a state of happiness, peace and gratitude for assuming the emotions and internal state of the satisfied desire or need and also sends the universe the signal to bring us what is in line with our development. When we long for something that we lack, it can be difficult to believe that we can achieve it using only the power of our imagination. It is crucial to differentiate between simply wishing for something and truly believing and assuming the possibility of achieving it. While diligent effort and perseverance in pursuing desires are commendable, Lack of belief or inability to visualize oneself achieving the desired outcome can hinder success. Essentially, for a positive outcome, it is imperative that one can visualize and assume the feasibility of their goals. The human mind perceives a sense of lack when it believes that the present moment is inadequate or incomplete. This feeling of insufficiency leads people to seek comfort in circumstances they believe will provide greater pleasure. However, upon reaching these situations, people typically find themselves in the same state of dissatisfaction they were trying to escape from. We must feel full and abundant in our present. Since the present is the only real thing. As Buddha emphasized, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. When we postpone our happiness waiting for an event or future achievement, anticipatory anxiety can arise. It is a type of anxiety that occurs when we face situations that are unknown, uncertain, or we do not know how to handle them, leading to stress and worry about the future. It is a common experience among many of us and can be difficult to manage. Managing anticipatory anxiety often involves letting go of conscious control and trusting oneself more, allowing things to flow naturally. By relinquishing control and immersing ourselves in the flow of life and the universe, we find a more harmonious balance in our decisions and actions. This same principle applies to entering a state of flow. When we experience the flow state, our actions unfold effortlessly, as if we were on autopilot. Just as musicians merge with the music while playing an instrument, or dancers merge with their movements, we too can immerse ourselves in the flow of our daily activities. This state is often applied to high-performing individuals who spend a lot of time mentally and physically practicing in their daily lives. Some examples of this include painters, chess players, and professional climbers. Entering a state of flow is synchronizing with the activity you are developing. Suddenly, you and the activity are one. You forget yourself and merge with the natural flow. 
When we exert too much control and conscious effort, we unbalance and hinder our ability to enter the flow state. This is because overthinking can create mental blocks, leading us to doubt our actions and capabilities or to be too self-critical. Essentially, being too caught up in our own heads can disrupt the natural instinctive process that facilitates flow. Therefore, relinquishing excessive conscious control becomes a vital step in entering the flow state, where conscious intention guides our actions without interfering with the automatic intuitive processes that allow us to perform at our best. The key is to trust the process, let go of control, and allow ourselves to flow. Additionally, expanding our vision and awareness will enable us to perceive more positive events around us and bring them into our reality. Like the fisherman who casts a wide net into the ocean instead of fishing with his small rod, so too can we obtain more opportunities in our conscious network. And all of this with less effort. True happiness may lie in enjoying the present without an anxious dependence on the future. Remember that the more you try to cling to something, the further it will drift away from you. When we learn to let go and stop obsessing over having control over every facet of our lives, we can begin to be fully present in the moment and enter a state of flow with our own lives. When this happens, everything seems to fall into place. Opportunities arise, serendipities, synchronicities. Everything becomes fluid, easy and effortless. You no longer struggle against adversity, but rather glide like a surfer on the waves of the sea. We have more time to focus on the things right in front of us. Our quality time with our loved ones improves and our bodies and minds feel more rested and focused. When we learn to live fully in the present, we can be more aware of our thoughts, actions and surroundings. So I leave you with this. Empty your mind, free yourself in every way. Be like water, which can flow effortlessly, but at the same time has the power to shape hard rocks or strike with great force, depending on the circumstances. Allow yourself to move with the natural flow of the universe and you will see that everything fits easily and effortlessly. As Bruce Lee said, be water, my friend. <laughs>